Right, hello folks, just going to do another video about Logo Golf Balls, another 40 I've acquired. They all seem to be on Strix and Balls, so let's get to it. This is the very first time I've even looked at them myself. Ready. Readycharity.org. No idea what they do. I've never heard of Ready as a charity before. Strix and AD333. I'm not even going to bother saying the type of ball, I'm just going to film it. It'll save my voice. Anyway, that's the first one. Next, CCF. It's just that green part, not that, that's some of these markings, pen markings, that might come off with a bit of um, nail varnish remover, maybe. Oh, very good condition. Next, Ripe. Ripeinsurance.co.uk. I have to say, I've not heard of Ripe Insurance, even though it's a British company. Not heard of that. Is that a flaw on the logo, that little bit out, or is that supposed to be there? I suspect that's in there. I can see there's a bit of paint flapped up. So, right. Okay. I know there's more than one of that in that in this collection, so let's carry on. Next. System 6 Kitchens. Again, never, ever heard of those before. System 6 Kitchens. And again, ball looks to be perfect condition. Next, Marston's Burton on Trent Brewery. It's quite a nice logo. Looks to be, is that a little bit of a scuff there? I think. I think that is possibly a little bit of damage underneath that there. Uh, but pretty good condition. All feels good condition. Okay, next. Oh, that's another one of these ripe ones. Yeah, so the previous logo was slightly nicked. I'll show the difference. You see that little white bit on that one there? That's the damage. So that logo is in better condition. Uh, let's just see if it's on the same type of ball. AD333 again. Sorry, this ball looks a bit faded, a bit orangey. Maybe it's been left in the sun. I don't know if you can tell that from the... Probably can't see it as much on the camcorder as it shows to the human eye. But um, yeah, it doesn't look quite as white as the other one. Let's just see what the first one was. Srixen A33, that's a really bright white one. Srixen A33, yeah, so this has been faded somehow. Maybe it's been in a lake for a long time or in the sun for a long time. But look at the colour difference. If I put them side by side, I don't know if you can actually see that. But there's a big colour difference. Anyway, I can spot another one, so let's go and film that one as well. Another one. Logo's perfect condition. Same type of ball, just with some of these markings. So that's the third one of those I've got. I hope there aren't too many like that. I want as many different logos as I can get my hands on. Right. Dave, I like a dozen holidays a year quick. <laughs> well, that's funny because my name is Dave. Dave, I like a dozen holidays a year quick. Hmm. Okay. Same type of ball again. You can see, you can actually, you can clearly see that bit of yellowy. So what is that yellowy? Is that, is that from sand? Has it been in a sand trap or is it from lying in a lake for a while or... Is it from lying in the sun for a while? It could be, you know, it was lost and facing that way up. So the sun damaged it on that side and not on that side. So sun damage is what I suspect some of these have got. Next. Ooh, what does that say? That's quite small. Schneider Electric. Life is on. And then they've got the on button symbol as part of their logo. That's quite clever. Life is on. Schneider Electric. Well, I've never heard of them before. Same type of ball, some of these markings. Next, oh no, I like the look of this logo, that's a nice bright one. H Habron Recruit Limited. HR, Human Resources, so that's a clever way to do it. HR, Human Resources, as in hiring people. Habron Recruit, okay, and that's on a, what appears to be, feels, the ball, when I say the ball feels perfect, I mean, you can't tell that there's any scuffs to it, you know. Sometimes the balls, when they get hit, they get little bits broken off, tiny bits flaked off. And you feel like a rough part, but um, that feels perfect condition. Next. Stuart and Partners Letting Agents. Again, that's a business I've never seen anywhere in my part of England. So Stuart and Partners. I presume these are all English logos. Anyway, and some of these initials. Next. Captain's Charity 2019. Well, that dates the ball nicely. 
Swix and oh, I'm saying it again, I can't help it. Perfect condition for all that feels like. Next. Now this has got two logos on it, I've just seen. RFC Bournemouth. Okay, well that's clearly uh, English. Bournemouth's on the south coast. And then you've got soccer ball. Oh, AFC, sorry. AFC Bournemouth. So something football club Bournemouth. Somebody heading a ball, there's the logo. And on the other side, it says McCoy. Now what's that? What's McCoy? Ball's perfect condition, that's a good one. Oh, sorry, I'm suffering from hay fever. I'm dying here. I'm trying desperately not to sneeze. <laughs> oh my god. Hay fever is just absolute misery. Right, next. Hewitt's Electrical Supplies Limited. You can see the logo is slightly scuffed there, but Hewitt Electrical Supplies Limited, okay. Same type of ball, ball feels good condition, some of these markings. As I said before, nail varnish remover can remove most inks from golf balls, but be careful, uh, it can kind of smudge it as well. So you may remove a lot of ink, but you may end up with a bit smudged. So try it on a ball that you don't care getting a bit knackered. That's got some of these, Ian, I think it says on that. It's, I've got your ball, Ian. Um, spa, there for you. These are like convenience store shops, chain that is all over England, I presume. Um, something I don't think I've ever. I may have got in one, once or twice, but very rarely. They are, they are. You know, I've seen them everywhere, but it's not one of those shops you really go in very often. I don't anyway. Likes, <laughs> sort of thing. Facebook would promote likes. Damaged logo. Walters. So no idea what that business is. Walters and likes. Hmm. Again, same type of ball. Next, the point at what does that say? Poles Bath, I think that says P O L Z B A T H. I think that's what it says. No idea what that is. Same type of ball, ball again feels very good condition. So these are uh, uh, whoever sold these to me is at least they've sent me decent condition golf balls. Some of the ones I've bought off people, I mean, I knew they said they were like grade B, but some of them are not so good. Right, SHC, the anniversary golf day, 10th anniversary golf day, slightly damaged logo. SHC again, don't know where that is or what that is. Ball again, good condition. Next. Oh, it's the same logo, isn't it? Yeah, that's the same logo. If I put them side by side. Same logo, slightly bigger than the other one. SHC. Um, ball, very good condition. But it doesn't say anything else than that. So maybe if you Google that, you'll be able to work it out. Another one. SHC, that looks slightly different colour. That looks bluer than this one. This one looks more purpley. SHC again, same type of ball. Very good condition. Let's put them together. Yeah, there's definitely different colouring to that. That That's more bluey purple than that. That's a lot darker. You see the difference? I'm sure you can tell the difference. Yeah, that's different. That's more like... No, anyway, let's get to the next ones. Next, Linden Homes 2014. Nice big logo. That is good. Ah, Brandwells. It's also got that on it. Brandwells, Linden Homes. Never heard of either of those. Again, Perfect condition ball, very nice. Next, Kingspan insulated panels. Never heard of that. Again, very good condition ball. Thank you, whoever sold these to me. I'm glad someone, somebody sent some really good condition ones. City Plumbing Supplies, part of the Travis Perkins group. Now, Travis Perkins are a big chain of like DIY and building materials that, all over England, so. Well, I've not heard of this city plumbing supplies place. Another perfect condition ball. So this is a nice selection. Next, what have we got? Oh, another one of these ripe ones. Now, now, and you can see that logo is scuffed up. Ripe again. Same type of ball. So I've got four of those so far. <laughs> and I've just seen another of those city plumbing ones. City plumbing supplies. Again, same. So I've got two of those. So I've got some 
swaps. Obviously, if you ever see me filming stuff and I, and I say I've got more than one, that means I've got swaps I'm willing to sell on or swap um, what I don't need. Ashburygolfhotel.co.uk, nice logo. Look at that, you've got snooker, golf, I suppose that's supposed to be badminton. Is that bowls? So, Ashbury Golf Hotel, that's a nice logo. Again, same type of ball. That's nice. Oh, I've got another of these Marston's ones, and this one's in worse condition than the first one. If I put them side by side, you can see the difference. This logo is more damaged, so this one would be the swap, if anybody needs it. Same type of ball, I presume. So, there you go, got two of that. Next, Patrick Hastings Dainton Golf Club. Don't know where Dainton is. Okay, that's that. Next, Cleobury Mortimer Golf Club with oak leaves as the logo. Cleobury, never heard of it. No idea where that is. Again, perfect condition golf ball. Aha, I've got a second of these spa ones. Hopefully this is better than the first one. Spa there for you. That's the same logo as the other one I've got. Uh, the ball needs a little bit of a clean, as you can see. But the logo's good, so that means I've got two spa ones. So I've got one to swap or sell. Next. What? Nigel call me Pablo Escobar Dennis. Pablo Escobar is a um, criminal drug dealer from Colombia, I, I believe. I've seen a program about people trying to dig up his... He used to hide money in bundles from all the cocaine he used to sell. Evil, evil person. Anybody that sells drugs is an evil, nasty piece of work. So, somebody thinks that's funny, but... Um, yeah. Drugs ruin people's lives. Next... Robin, <laughs> Robin the three off the tee, Cleaverdon, the original Man of Steel. Uh, another bit of humour. Who's, who's had these ones printed? That's another one that's, you know, like a homemade logo, really. Next, St. Million Ladies. Again, place I've not been to, don't know. Somebody's put some yellow stars on, that's not a logo, that's someone's paint, I think. Next. Captain's Prize Day 2015, ECG, so E Golf Club, 1889, that's an old golf club, um, again, very good condition ball, next, oh, another of these right ones, so that's the fifth right one I've got, so I've definitely got a few um, to swap or sell, this one's in good condition, other than the fact someone slapped a bit of ink on it, but that's, that's five, crikey. Oh, is that that same person? Robin Cleaverden, the original Man of Steel. There you go. You see, there's that same, slightly different logo. So whoever this has been losing a lot of balls. Next. Devon Golf. Nice picture of a ship on the logo. Okay. Good condition ball again. Nice. Next. Just three to go. Oh, another of these SHC. SHC 10th Anniversary Golf Day. That's I've got two like this then. I've got two with that same logo. Um, both logos have got slight damage. If I put them side by side, you can see both of them have got little bits of nicks to the logo. Not, neither are perfect. But that's the second one of that, so I could potentially swap or sell that. Next, Robin, sometimes three off the T's, Cleaverton. Now, is that that same name? There's the, yeah, there you go. Robin Cleaverton. And there, there he is again. So that bloke's lost a couple of balls at the same golf course, I presume. And the last one in this collection, Nigel, I have a unit for rent, Dennis. And there's there's the same Nigel person. Nigel, call me Pablo Escobar, Dennis. Nigel, I have a unit for rent, Dennis. So that's someone that's had their own golf balls personalised. Bit of humour. So yeah, that's that collection arrived today to add to my collection. I've probably got about a thousand logos now. I'm getting one hell of a collection built up. Um, yeah, click like on this if you like it. Subscribe to me and look through my other golf ball logo videos. You need to click on 
playlists when you're on my account. Find find playlists. Find the one that's golf balls or logo golf balls, something like that. And then have a look at my other videos. I filmed them roughly 50 logos at a time. As I said, very soon I'm, 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 I'll own about a thousand golf balls. So have a look through them all. Let me know why you watch the video. Why are you watching? Is it simply you're a golfer? Do you design logos for businesses? Um, why are you watching this video? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.